My name is Peter Schweitzer. I'm the director of the Genomics Core facility at Cornell University in Ithaca, New York. I've been interested in digital PCR for a number of years. Coming on the market are more affordable instruments uh, that are making the technology more accessible to smaller facilities, uh, facilities that don't have big budgets to acquire instrumentation, and they're really accessory instrumentations for a lot of technologies that we use. Digital PCR in my lab will enable us to uh, more accurately quantify some of the samples that we're testing in our lab. And what this means is that we will save time because we won't end up having to repeat samples. So it's a faster turnaround time for our users, which is always important to them. It also will save money uh, because we often expend a lot of time and effort uh, to get these samples to work properly. So the quantifications that we're uh, doing right now are for next generation sequencing libraries, uh, which are derived from a number of different uh, sources. They can be genomic DNA, whole genomes that we're trying to sequence, or they can be derived from populations of RNA molecules, so looking at gene expression studies. Often for our next generation sequencing runs, if we have a failure or a misquantification so that our target uh, is missed, we will usually rerun those samples at our own expenses. Uh, we're already seeing an increased interest in switching projects to using digital PCR instead of the more conventional or the more historically used uh, real-time qPCR assays because of its superior accuracy. We're interested in using the Quant Studio 3D for our next generation sequencing library quantifications because it should save us money, save us time, and also produce a superior result from the sequencing instru instruments that we use. My experience with the Quant Studio 3D is that it's very simple to operate. Uh, it's no more difficult than setting up a conventional master mix that you would for other uh, technologies like PCR or uh, real-time qPCR. It's uh, simple to do for small numbers of samples. It's relatively quick uh, to get the results. Uh, it doesn't involve any sophisticated fluidics or complicated setups. It's just a segregation of a single master mix into up, up to 20,000 individual reaction wells. Uh, there is a cost benefit to operating the Quant Studio 3D. We figure that even if we save ourselves two or three reruns every month, then the instrument and the consumables and reagents will more than pay for themselves. And uh, the cost savings to us is not only uh, time and effort, but it's the number of runs that we can do on our instruments over the course of a year. If we save uh, from doing repeats, that gives us more capacity on our instruments to do samples that uh, we ordinarily might not have time to do. The types of next generation sequencing libraries that we're testing are going to be especially the very difficult ones for us to quantify well. There are many different types of next generation sequencing libraries from DNA, RNA, uh, there are some transposon-based libraries. There are several of those that have historically been very tricky to quantify accurately, and those are the ones that we're particularly interested in testing on, or using the Quant Studio 3D to quantify accurately.